Hello pool and spa owners, it's Rob with Inyo Pools. Today I'm going to show you how to wire a plug and cable to a 115 volt pump. Um, we're using a spa pump in the video, but the same instructions will be applied to an above ground pool pump. And this will be pretty common for anybody who orders a, a spa pump or an above ground pump and you realize it didn't come with a cable or maybe it came with a three prong and you want to switch it to a twist lock. Um, so this would be instructions for how to do that. You can either order a new cable or use the one off your old pump. But with that said, let's get started. So these are the items I'll be using today. We have uh, a 14.3 cable, which is good for um, this one horsepower pump. If you've got a higher horsepower, you, you may need a different gauge wire. Uh, we've got a Phillips head screwdriver, a conduit adapter that clamps onto that cable, uh, needle nose pliers, and a quarter inch socket. The first thing you're gonna do is take your quarter inch socket and loosen up that screw at the back of the cap. Once you get that screw loosened up, you just pull the cap off. Then you want to remove this little plug here. Then you want to go ahead and take the adapter here, thread it into place. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then you want to go ahead and feed the wires in through your adapter. Okay, we've got our cables fed through the conduit adapter. Um, next thing you want to do is just identify the, the different wires here. Uh, this black one is going to be your hot wire. It's also called the line. Uh, the white one is your neutral. And the green is your ground. That green wire is always going to go to that little green looking screw. Then you want to look at your wiring diagram. And so it says line, which is the black one. That's going to go to terminal 3, and the neutral, which is the white one, is going to go to terminal 4. And so again, it's important to look at the wiring diagram on your motor, because it may be different. Alright, so the first one I'm going to connect is the ground. I'm just going to go up to that green screw. So you just got to loosen it with your quarter inch socket. You don't have to remove it, just loosen it a little bit enough to, to slip in the cable. All right, so I've got it tightened down to the green ground screw. Then I'm going to take my line and connect that to terminal three. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's marked, it's embossed on the terminal board three, so it's up here. So I'm going to take the black line and connect it there with my needle nose pliers. All right, so I got it pushed onto that prong there on terminal number three. And then I'll connect my white neutral line to terminal four down there. All right, so I've got the white neutral line connected to terminal four, the black one's up on three, and the green ground is connected to the grounding screw. And I'll go ahead now and, and uh, take my Phillips head screwdriver and tighten down these little screws so it clamps on. So it's nice and tight there and water won't get in. Okay, so I've tightened the screws there, and you can see it's nice and tight around the cable now. Then we'll take our end cover, put that back in place, and we're going to tighten that screw again. Alright, we've got the, the cable installed, so at this point it would be ready to, to plug in. Before you run it, uh, you would want to get your uh, bonding wire, if you have one, and connect it there. Other than that, if you have any questions on how to wire a plug and cable to your pump or anything else pool or spa related, uh, leave a comment down below or visit us over at inyopools.com. Thanks for watching.